Hey guys, Brianne Johnson here, and we're gonna make vegan chicken pot pie today. It's so delicious. We're gonna need silk almond milk unsweetened. You can also use soy milk. Teriyaki chicken strips by Gardein, minus the teriyaki. Earth Balance butter, flour, water, onion, celery, frozen peas. I like to lay it out on a plate so it can defrost, as well as your frozen carrots. Vegetable bouillon. First, preheat the oven to 425. We're going to microwave two thirds cup of butter at a low heat so it doesn't get too hot. Add two cups of flour to a large mixing bowl. We partially melted the butter. Add the butter to the mixing bowl with the flour. Mix it together. Five tablespoons of water and mix again. As you can see, it's totally changed in texture. Just squeeze it a bunch of times to make sure it's mixed thoroughly. Now that the dough is done and set aside, we're gonna work on the filling. In a pot, add two cups of water. Add the bouillon cube and start boiling the water. While the veggie bouillon cube is dissolving, cut about half of a small onion, which will equal one third of a cup of chopped onion. I am an ogre, you have to peel back the layers. <laughs> I like to chop my onions in this amazing chopper. Does it so quickly for you. Done. Melt one third cup butter in a saute pan. Once the bouillon cube is dissolved, stop boiling the water. Amy Adams, Meryl Streep, the Julie and Julia movie. Is there anything better than butter? <laughs> I love that movie. While it's melting, go ahead and add the one third cup of onions and add the two thirds cup of celery. Saute this until the onions look fairly transparent. The celery and onions are now done. Add the vegetable stock to the celery and onion mixture. Add half a cup of almond milk and one third cup of flour. We have stirred it for about three minutes, maintaining the same temperature and stirring so the lumps of flour become smooth and it looks like a nice gravy mixture. One cup of thawed carrots, two thirds cup of thawed peas, and add one bag of Guardian Chicken Teriyaki, minus the teriyaki. Thaw the chicken in a microwave and cut it up into cubes. Once you have mixed the ingredients together, turn off the heat and let it sit while we prepare the crust. If you don't feel like making the dough, you can try to find a vegan. I haven't been able to find one that's vegan yet, but if you find one, let me know in the comments because I want to know about it. If you buy a pie crust, make sure you get two parts to it for the bottom and the top. For our pie crust, you're going to take a little more than half the dough. For the spreading of the dough, you want an extremely smooth surface. I've tried it on a wooden table and that was really difficult to get up. So I like to use a cookie sheet and I like to actually spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. You can even spray the rolling pin. It should be a large circle, much larger than your actual pan because it needs to go around the thick edges of it as well. Now we are going to transfer this to this. Take your time with this part. Don't worry about it being a perfect circle. We can just cut off the excess. Next, you're going to gently push in the dough so it lines with the pan. Lift up the excess to allow more dough for that. Now it should all be tucked into the corners and you should have at least a little bit excess to cover all of the edges properly. Roll out the remaining dough. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Now we have flattened the top part into a nice circular shape. Add the filling to the pie dish. Flatten it out and make sure you still have a little excess so that way the crust doesn't all fall in. Now we'll add the top to the pie. Cut off excess crust. Make sure you get around the edge and leave plenty. Now I like to press it with a fork and sometimes roll it together. You're going to delicately make about a one and a half inch incision and do about six of them all the way around. Make sure it separates just a tiny bit so the pie can ventilate as it bakes. Bake for 20 minutes. If you notice these have sealed shut, you can go ahead and pop them open again. All right, now we're gonna cover it loosely with tin foil. Keep your oven mitts on because obviously it's hot. And put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. Don't forget to let your chicken pot pie cool for about 30 minutes before serving. Moment of truth. Now we just gotta eat it. It's gonna be such a problem. Mm, that's really good. That's satisfying. Mm. I'm a single lady. I'm a single lady. <laughs> Got my oven mitts. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh.